Okay, so we're going to combine our last two topics together, bed mass with integers. And it's the same old stuff, don't need to freak out at all. It's the same rules as before with your integers. And just like with bed mass, which is your last class, show all your steps. Underline, do the step underneath. Okay, so first question. 8 plus bracket 4 minus 10 close bracket. From bed mass, hopefully you remember, brackets go first. So we do this first, underline it. 4 minus 10 is not 6. It is negative 6. You have 4. You lose 10. You are down 6. If you want, you can put the brackets around it. Keep it like that. Don't have to here. And then bring down the 8 and the plus. Now we're left with this. This, you should remember, is a double sign situation. You've got two signs that are different. This is going to be a minus. And whenever signs are different, you change them to a minus, and you're left with 8 minus 6, which is a final answer of 2. Okay, so this shouldn't be too hard. It's all stuff we did before. Just uh, all mixed up together now. This one here, again, always follow bed mass. Even if the sheet doesn't even talk about bed mass, you always follow bed mass. It's not one of these things that you just do sometimes and never do other times. You always follow bed mass rules. Brackets first, we do this first. Negative 9 divided by 3. Remember your dividing rules, when the signs are different, it's negative. And then you just do the dividing. 9 divided by 3 is 3. You put the brackets in if you want, don't have to. Plus 10. Now just a simple adding question. Negative 3 plus 10. You're down 3. You're up 10. You are up 7. Okay, getting a little bit harder now. What about this here? Negative 10 minus negative 4, bracket, and then there's nothing in between, bracket 2. What do we do first? Well, we do the brackets. And again, this is a bracket in terms of bed mass bracket, because there's a question inside. This is not. That's just to, to show that there's a multiplying happening with this 2 and whatever you do over here. So we do the brackets first, which is this. Inside the brackets, we see the double sign. Two negatives is going to be a positive. So change that double sign into a positive. You're down 10, you're up 4. You are going to be down 6. Bring down the bracket 2. And again, like I say, when there's nothing in between, it means multiply. So negative 6 times 2, signs are different, so it's negative 6 times 2 is 12, that's it. Okay, 10 divided by negative 5 plus negative 4 divided by negative 4. So you have dividing and adding, dividing goes first, let's do this thing first. 10 divided by negative 5, signs are different. So it's going to be negative, 10 divided by 5 is 2, negative 2, plus, ne now, you could uh, do this question in the same step, or you could bring the negative 4 over 4 down here if you want. I'm going to do this in the same step, so I'm going to do this now. Negative 4 divided by negative 4, the signs are the same, so it's positive, or just leave it, you know, to touch it. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So you end up with negative 2 plus 1. So here I kind of skipped a step. Didn't write every little step out. I didn't bring this down. Anyways, negative 2 plus 1. You're down 2. You're up 1. You're still down 1. Alright, the fifth example. Bracket negative 14 minus 4. Bracket divided by 6. You have a subtraction, we have a brackets, we have a dividing. Brackets goes first, we do this first. Negative 14 minus 4. You're down 14, you're down 4 more. You are down, we'll do it on the side here, 
you are down 18 divided by 6. 18 divided by 6, the signs are different, so we know it's negative. 18 divided by 6 is 3, negative 3 is your answer. Okay, so the same old stuff as before, like I said, it's just taking care not to make silly mistakes and watch your signs. So show your steps on these three questions here. Um, show it to me when you're done and you can get the next bit of work. Talk to you later. Bye.